Jet. Right, mate. Hey, pal. I'm putting a little package together for the homeless. I'll do it when I can afford it a couple of times a month. So right. I've got cheese and ham sandwiches there, clips all drink, crisps, and chocolate. And I go out on the streets in the doorways and deliver it to the people. How have you done? Well, I, I did 10 packs. Let me tell you how hard it is. Yeah. So I got I bread, 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 bread. Butter, 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 butter. Cheese, 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 cheese. It was like a conveyor belt. Cheese, 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 <laughs> cheese, cheese. So I packed them all together. We're going to go out the, um, on the streets and get it rolling. Fantastic. Oh, by the way, don't worry about him. He's been here, here all day. He's not even helped me. Bit of a dummy. So that's yeah, what I'm doing, mate. God, that must have taken bloody ages to do this. Well, you can come along if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah? Yeah, totally. Nice one, mate. All right, I'll just pack this together. Yeah. Do you want to take those crisps? Yeah, we'll do. Brilliant. Yeah, like I said, I've got about 12. Of the doorways we're going to, um, we're going to be where people are really desperate. Yeah. They look desperate, they're on the last feed, so hopefully all this will just give them that little bit of energy, maybe to go to the soup vans later. Um, and, you know, like I say, it cost me about 12 quid to do. I can only afford it to do it once every, like, six weeks. Yeah. But, you know, someone's son and door, daughter in that doorway, isn't it, mate? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's get off to the street. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. Let's do it. Come on, man. <laughs>
top, mate. Thank you for entertaining me. You have a top day, yeah? You, See you again, mate. Thank you, yeah, cheese. Cheese and ham, chocolate biscuit and a drink. All right, mate. Were you sketching then? Was you sketching? Drawing? Yeah. Can I have a look? It's good to see a street artist. Not too good. The weather is not helping me. Yeah. Whoa. Check the Reno. That's amazing, isn't it? It's like Dali or something like that. Whoa. Just get a shot of that. Emergency. Oh, please. Oh. Oh man, that's Jesus. And what's what's going on here then? What's happening in the, um, Nepal? Yeah, the disaster in Nepal. Yeah, I'm drew Nepal. this for a mask for the people. Help, help this. That's brilliant. It's a work of art, that. I like that. What's your name again? Jamie. 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 Pleasure to meet you, mate. How long have you been on the street? Me. In England. So, yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Wow. Keep on drawing, pal, because that's really good. Yeah, all the best. I'm trying, but best, I'm trying to take the people like you and them around me. It's very important. Because I'm trying to resolve the problems, my passport. Yeah, yeah. And the people, you don't resolve nothing, so you don't believe I'm Jamie. Right, right. It's one people for confirmation. It's all paperwork, isn't it? And I can't believe so, I can't believe it. You take it easy, mate. Oh! Have a good day. You're a good man. I'm trying. You're an artist. Trying. Proper artist. See you, mate. People like you, like Cheers. you. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Can I say what you were doing? It's a really nice thing. Who do you work for? I don't work for anyone, mate. I just do it off my own back. Oh, you do open poet? Yeah. Oh, respect to you, mate. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if you're touched by it, why don't you go out and uh, deliver some sandwiches? I wish I could, mate. I'm too busy. I've got to do the office, fix the computer, do accountancy. That's what they all say, pal. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, mate. How many food or one box have you got left? Well, I've got three. Well, I buy them off in then, it's £10. No, you keep your money, mate. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you're going to deliver them on the street, back to work, I'll give you three of sacks. Okay. Yeah, I've got loads of little set in there. Yeah. You keep your cash. Right, I'll fill it for these and on the way back I'll drop ten pounds in the charity box for the homeless. Very nice. Where are you from as well, by the way? I meant to ask you. What Me? What country? I'm born in Angola. Angola? Wow. wow. And I'm create Portugal. In the Sul America. Brilliant. That is cool. That. Right, mate. Can I give you one message? Yeah, for, for yeah, my yeah son? of course. Yeah. Yes, go. You know, tomorrow is my birthday. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday to tomorrow. you. Happy birthday to you. Give you, give you son a message. Just I want to say, if I don't see you again, everything more important in my life is you and your mum. I don't know what can I do. It's not my country, but I have beautiful people around me. And Jesus, Jesus all the time is tell me what my place. I love you, my son, Tiago. We've got food for us, there's some sandwiches, a few drinks. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name, mate? Jockey. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Jockey. Pleased to meet you. So you're, good. you're a poet, aren't you? Yeah. That's an unusual name, Jockey. Yeah, well, I used to do it. What happened? Was it the race? It was what? The race. It was in a race? Yeah. I got over the jump. Yeah. And this horse fell. It fell to me, but both legs. Broke both legs? Oh, man. So what happened then? Well, after that, I had to deal with you, so I lost my wife, I lost my kids, I lost my house, I had to, to drink, and that's how I got here. Wow. Well, look, someone like you, 
who's raced horses. Maybe one day you'll be coaching kids out on ride horses and that. So it's never too late, mate. Too late, that, mate. Too late. Too late. Why? Big sick. Oh, man, you've got cancer. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. <clears throat> Tell you what, look, I'll leave you because you're looking a bit tired, all right? So, see you again, eh? Don't forget me, will you? Jockey. I won't forget you, jockey. jockey. Take it easy, man, yeah? See you Thank now. Thank you. Hi, mate, how's it going? All right, mate, yeah. If you wouldn't take me crisps. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. All right, mate. Some food there for you, bro. Right. How long have you been homeless? Uh, on and off. What's the hardest thing about it? Being homeless. Being homeless. Uh, getting stick off the door, stopping your money and shit. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's a big turn off for many stop your money. Get by on. Yeah, basically, yeah. What's the flower about? I love that. Oh, friend. Yeah, Polish girl. The kids put up in the end. What a Polish girl does? Yeah, she sells flowers going up and down. So. It's just like your little garden, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. All right, bro. I'll leave you in peace. No Take it easy. Thanks very much. Yeah. That's all right, mate. See you, mate. No worries. Thank you very much. All right, have a good day. You too. Be lucky. Hey. How's it going? Yeah, some food for you. Sandwiches, chocolate, a drink, clips out, there's some water. And there's some crisps, yeah? What's your name? James. James, Irish name? Oh, yes. Where are you from? Dublin. How long have you been over there? Forty six years. Yeah. Are you, so you're living on the streets? What's the toughest thing about it? Just went to the worst part. Yeah. Did it nearly kill you? Yeah. Well, you're a, you're a brave man. You're a brave man, mate. Yeah. How did you lose the leg? Cancer. Cancer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're still here, mate. God bless you anyway. I'll leave you in peace, man. See you soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate. Roads with you and everything. Yeah. How, how, how's, it, how's it been anyway? Is it tough to you? Well, I went to get in somewhere and that place wasn't for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I ended up getting myself to start there. So, what would you like? Just a flat, a one bedroom flat or something? Flat myself. Anyone listening to you about it? No one at all. No. Any, any sentence of it the other week? This is what the council is doing, so I told them straight. Um, well, I think it's right, but they didn't really give it right for the other reasons. So, all you young people have been getting on. Seven meters to the B and B and you get to chuck my out, back to spare one. It's obviously any point even listening to it. Have you got a little personal message for Mr. Cameron? Oh Mr. Cameron. This is going on YouTube, so you know Mr. you're we don't want to be in power. Yes. We don't like you, we hate you. Yeah. So he obviously he's not helping you guys no, in any way. He's helping the rich <laughs> suffering for the poor. Yeah. He needs help, so I can help you help. Nice one, bro. What's your name, Michael? Michael. Michael. God bless you, our kid. Are you going to show that to Mr. Cameron? That's going on YouTube. Oh, I'm I post. I even call him Mr. Cameron. No, no. I call him wannabe president. <laughs> I want to be Borat. I've never been Borat. So there, Mr. Yeah. Cameron, you're loved, aren't you? You're a gimp. Hey? You're a gimp. And I'm not. I've got more I've got. Hey, lads, that rocks. Nice Have a good one. See you, yeah? I Thanks hope very much. I just coke off the dealer the day. <laughs>
What do you feel about people living in doorways? Um, what do you mean how I feel about it personally? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really sad. What do you mean how I feel? What do you mean? I, I don't understand the question. Well, uh, we're doing a little film about homelessness and highlighting the people that, in the worst cases, are living and dying in doorways. Um, do you know anyone homeless yourself? I don't actually know. No. I live in London, so. Yeah. Have you ever. Do, do, are you afraid of the homeless? No. 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 Yeah. So what do you think the government could do about it? Um. I don't know where, they, where, where you'd start, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know there's a couple of guys around me where I live in London that I talk to regularly, and their kind of situation yeah. seems to be stemmed from mental health issues. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so do you think that, what do you think of some of the causes like of being homeless in a doorway? What do you think brought people to that? Um, no support, uh, no family support, lack of understanding mental health. That's, that's only my experience there. Two guys I know have had yeah. very bad mental health issues. Yeah, thanks very much anyway for your time and that. Thank you. Thanks. Have got any time to uh, answer a couple of questions about homelessness? Alright. Alright mate, just a, uh, I'm doing a few questions, you know, about homelessness. And uh, your view would be important. What do you think of people living in doorways? <laughs> I don't know, I've got no comment on it. You're not going on it at all? No at all. Do, you, do you know any reasons you think why they end up there? I've got no, no. comment on it. Do you do a lot of the cleaning up? Yeah, I do. I've got no comment on that. Alright, fine, fine. Okay. Have a good day, mate. Excuse me, love. I'm doing a little project, film project, to ask you questions about homelessness. Okay. Have you got time? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. What do you think about people living in doorways today? Oh, gosh, that's a loaded question. Um, I, I, it's one of those ones that's really hard to answer because it's, it's horrific to see people that are on the streets and that don't have anywhere to go. Um, but it's a case of, I'm not quite sure what, what we can do to help. Have you ever been homeless yourself? No, I've never been homeless. And what sort, why do you think uh, someone would end up in a doorway? What issues do you think they might have? All different reasons. I mean, things with like the government at the moment, they've been cutting everyone's benefits, they've been putting on bedroom taxes, they've been kicking people out of council houses, you know, they, I mean, the past five years, I think there's been more homeless people through them, more than anything, but do even all of it, you know, people have their own personal problems, don't they? Do so. you know any homeless people? Um, not, no, I don't, unfortunately. No, no. no. Uh, what would you do if you lost your job and everything went and you ended up homeless? Gosh, I don't know what I'd do. It's, it's something that I can't physically imagine, but I can... You know, I don't understand how hard and horrible it is for people who are in that situation. Would you be willing to hand out sandwiches now and again to the homeless? Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a great suggestion. The things we can do to try and help. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Oh, that's no, been no nice problem. of you to stop and speak. Have a good day. Okay, thank you. Thanks. What do you think about the camp, homeless camp being there? Are you good, guys? Do you think it's, um, no. You know why they're there? Because they're homeless. Yeah. You have been homeless or? No. Know anyone? No. No. Yeah. Do you think, what would you, if you were, let's say, you were the I'm Prime sorry. Minister, she started, one last thing, what would you do to help the homeless? Bloody help them out. Thank you very much, sweetheart. And you go and get your dinner. <laughs> Don't want you angry. See you later. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to interrupt you, but uh, what do you think of these camps being here? I don't know much about them. It's the first time I've seen them. Well, no, no, no. the homeless people uh, have got issues and they can't get accommodation. Um, and so they've set up here as a little bit of process saying they just want to live somewhere. Um, and they've been evicted from the streets, so they're here and just thought, I wonder what your opinion is about. I don't know much about it. I don't know no. why why they're here. Um, there must be some sort of homeless charity that can look after them. Well, all the, all the uh, cutbacks uh, are kicking in and charities haven't got the, the money they used to have. Uh, this is their kind of protest. But, um, I just thought I'd get your opinion anyway. Anyway, so thanks very much. Um, 
I'm sure there must be a way around it because they can't really stay here, can they? They do understand yeah. it's a protest and yeah. they do need looking after, but... Uh, could, they, could a few of them come and live at your house? I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind, mate. Thank you very much for your time. What do you think about the homeless camp here? Well, there. Do you think it should stay? Why not? Yeah. Well, this is what I'm, I'm asking, you see, because they, they haven't got any accommodation to go to. Have I? No. Have I? I'm, I'm all in favour. Have you ever dropped any sandwiches in or helped see what they want? I haven't, no. No. They might appreciate that, you know. Well, I'm a pensioner, aren't I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks anyway, mate, for your time. My pleasure. My pleasure. About the homelessness. So, what do you think about them living in those tents there? See, they haven't got anywhere to live at the moment. Um, been evicted from certain parts of the street and this is the next bit where they might have a week or two to go. So obviously someone's sons and daughters. Have you ever thought about this tent before, this camp before? Um, yeah, it's a shame that I feel sorry that they have to resort to camping here and then. Have you ever been homeless yourself? No. Do you know any homeless people? I've helped out in soup kitchens. Brilliant. And how, how did you find that? Humbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you did your little bit to help in that? Yeah, and I understand that anyone, I could become homeless, anyone can become homeless, the situation has been changed. What do you think the government should do about it? Um, I think it's just, it's not enough affordable accommodation for people. But the thing is, is that once you are homeless, it's how do you get to then being able to dress right for an interview and then get yourself back on the street, I mean, get yourself back um, yeah, into, into uh, like... Earning money and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the government, I think the government needs to provide accommodation for people that's affordable and not going to get them into more debt or into more Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you now. Bye. I'm so alone. I'm so alone. Like an island. So alone. I'm so alone. Jockey rode his final race. Now he's in a better place. How many doorways have been a bed for the homeless people now found dead? Somewhere else another one dies as the cutbacks continue from the politicians' lies. God bless you, jockey. We could have done more. Maybe your death will bring help to the poor. My heart's locked down. My heart's locked down. I just leave it and retrieve it when there's nobody else around. My heart's locked down My heart's locked down There's a fuse there